Well, guys, my buddy's still here two years later. This is one cool horse right here, ain't you? Yes, you are. Yeah. Say hi. Hello. Come here. Hey, I touch your nose. You're good. Every time we come here, guys, this horse makes it a point to walk over here and say hi. That's really cool. Yeah. I think so. Yeah, it's a girl. Guys, welcome to another episode. This isn't the first time taking Wilma. This is the place where I caught the eight pound bass over Thanksgiving weekend. Or it was about a month ago, something like that. Three quarters of a mile hike. Happened to use the canoe cart, which is stashed over there in the weeds. We had 200 pounds in the canoe. I thought I was going to fall out at one point in time. I thought I should just better off to turn around. It was wore us out that much. Luckily, I'm off work tomorrow. All right, guys. So I did not bring minnows the last time. So what I did, because of us pulling them, pulling the canoe. I had to keep the minnows in that cooler right there and then when we got here I transferred them to the bucket. Also I'm going to use 3 quarter ounce spinner bait, 17 pound line, KVD caffeine shad, I painted the black dot on there, 4 inch white swim baits with a 3 8 jig head 12 pound line, 5 inch jerk bait that goes 9 to 11 feet, and bobber and minnow because I want to see how decent the crappie are in here didn't catch any last time it was too windy and I didn't have minnows so we're gonna fish for crappie first and see if they're in here it's big enough it definitely should have them we just got to find them and I think I know where they're at so should be a good trip hopefully we get another eight pound bass all right guys I'll turn back on once we get over to where I'm gonna fish for crappie There he was, bass. Yep. All right, guys, first fish of the day. Fishing for crappie, catching bass. And then when I try for bass, maybe I'll catch a crappie. Little guy, about 11, 12 inches. Really pale. It's better than the one I caught, definitely, yeah. He's bigger. A little better, isn't it? Oh yeah, he's two pounds. I'll get a picture of it with that one. Grab the lip, the lip. That's not bad at all. Hold on just a second. Let me get my minnow away from the. All right, guys, she got a two pounder anyway. Yeah, heck yeah, not bad. That's what we're after. About 15. Oh my god, I had a fish that whole time. Definitely not a crappie. Didn't even know he was on there. He wasn't even pulling the bobber under. Weird. Minnow's probably not alive now. but I thought I was hung up. That's how light he bit. He, he, he never even gave you a clue that he was on. Never moved the bobber at all. Not even a twitch. He was just sitting there eating at it. Crappie. Crappie. Yes. Oh my God. I think so. Eh, no. <clears throat> Darn. The way it bit acted like a crappie because it just barely pulled under real slow. Like a crappie would. <clears throat> Darn it. A little better bass. My biggest bass of the day, guys. He's about 14. 
not terrible. Why he wants to curl the whole time. <laughs> He really didn't have me fooled. Even thought it was a crappie till halfway in. Oh, he got off. Oh, he's back on. Definitely a bass. Whoa, I seen another one behind him. Weird. Sure did. I seen two bass at once. We'll be able to get crappie in the spring, I guess. Really wanted just to get one just to say I did, you know. Boy, it's hands get cold quick handling these bass in the winter, guys. He's 13. He was real close to the bank. When he first got on, I was only like a foot from the bank. Cause I overcast it on accident. Just went way too far and he just instantly was on there. Finally on a decent bass for the day. They are just not biting today whatsoever. She got a four pounder anyway. He's hooked good, he's hooked good. He's hooked real good. Yep, he's four. Don't grab the line, grab his mouth. Oh, you added a split shot. There you go, yeah. He's three and a half anyway. Yeah, he's four. I don't think he's three. You think he's three? Hold it up straighter like you had it cockeyed. On a spinner bait. Um, yeah, like that, a little over, there you go, that's not bad, that's what we came for, yeah, decent, I'm going to throw this shad, you could tell they were feeding over here, I think there's a lot of shad right here. Deep too, it's deep. Super deep. Kidding right me, man. Right. Get out of there. <sighs> yeah, we've made a video officially, I guess. With the two nice ones and all these smaller ones. See, these hooks ain't bad, the red ones. They're crappie hooks. They're not really for bass, but... Yeah, he's 13. Get it? He'll get you hung. There's something right there where you're at. Back to back. I think fish is biting uh, It's the smaller ones. They'll be those those ones are always near the bank. It's the big ones ain't. That's okay. Uh. Oh, right there, right where they're at. It was both of them were almost instantly too. Actually, mine didn't bite until I twitched it. When I twitched it, I got the bite. Out got hung big time. 
Ooh, I just got hit hard, hard. Whoa. There he is. Got him. Oh yeah, it's a decent one. Decent fish. Unless he's just hooked funny. No, he's just pull. He's not fighting. He's making it like a log. He felt made it feel really big because they're not fighting. Because it's so cold. That's what it is. All right, first fish on the uh, KBD caffeine shag, guys. Four inch white, and I altered it by putting two black dots, one on each side, to make it more look like a threadfin shad or gizzard shad. Not bad. We're fishing along the dam, along the rocks. He hit it, let go, and finally hit it about 20 feet after that. Unless it was a different one altogether. Ah, he got off again. Damn it. And he messed my swim bait up. Big time messed it up. <laughs> 